marks week nine of my health behavior changed, being able to do 10 push-ups. In terms of my SMART goal, I'm well and truly in the maintenance phase of the trans theoretical model. And my push-ups are well established into my workouts and I'm even noticing some nice gums, guns forming. I have found that over the nine weeks I've definitely improved. As the saying goes, it doesn't get easier, you get stronger, which is so true now. I also find that I'm a lot more confident with where my fitness is at and know that I'll ace the fitness test in the academy, which has definitely lifted my spirits and boosted my self-efficacy. I also know now that if I want to achieve something, I can, and the best thing to do is work for it rather than let it stress me out, which I find I do quite a lot. In terms of barriers, I found them to be mostly situational. Having other things to do that are better are more interesting than working out, seeing friends, and lots of family events and gatherings have popped up, which have found it quite hard to balance everything. While some things I haven't been able to avoid, I've tried to use the suppression of competing activities and also prioritising things that are more important, which I have found quite effective. Another barrier that I faced and found was quite consuming was an emotional barrier of feeling unmotivated to get in the gym. I have glandular fever and I found that this barrier really sucked the life out of me over the last two weeks. But I listened to my body and I took a few days off and now I'm back on track and motivated. Looking forward, I do have a date for my fitness testing, which is in a few weeks' time. So I'm going to keep working on my upper body strength and my push-ups in general because if you don't know, the upper body strength is a major part of fitness testing and hopefully continuing to see improvements.